thank you so much for such a wonderful opportunity. Um, Director General of UNESCO Excellencies, Ghana has seen, uh, has made some great strides in education. Uh, from 2011 to 2020, we have consistently spent over 20% of our budget on education. In terms of GDP, we are spending between 6 to 8% on education. Uh, the President of the Republic uh, made a commitment at the uh, Education Forum held in August uh, this year and pledged that within the next three years, we'll consistently spend 23% or higher of annual budget on education. Various ways have been found to fund education in the country. We have a dedicated value-added tax uh, whose revenue is dedicated totally to education. We have recently securitized part of those uh, revenue to raise $1.5 billion uh, for infrastructure development. In addition to that, the government also earmarks part of our petroleum uh, revenue to education. It is called the Petroleum Revenue Funds or the Annual Budget Funding Amount, AFA. And this goes directly towards free secondary education. Since independence, our nation has not had the opportunity of providing free secondary education to our population. Consequently, until uh, 2017, the youth from the private background did not have opportunity for secondary education. The government was committed to change that. And using oil revenues and other sources of revenue has enabled us to increase enrollment from 800,000 to over 1.2 million of our youth now in secondary education. The president has also committed to providing our loans, a substantial amount of money for the youth to borrow for tertiary education. I would say that through what is called the GET Fund, another budget allocation um, that goes into education, uh, the government has been able to also tie some uh, tax uh, source and a certain amount of money is earmarked every year for school infrastructure development. Of course, we know that uh, we cannot continue uh, to depend on this revenue forever, especially the one that comes from oil. And therefore, it is very important and urgent for us to develop our human capital in such a way that the development of the human capital will be the source of revenue for economic development and for economic uh, transformation. Uh, the lessons we have learned that the, where there's a world, there's a, a way. When the government talked about free secondary education, many people said you couldn't do it because how do you provide um, free education for students in boarding house? 70% of our students in, uh, are in boarding houses. And they are fed three times a day. And yet, through the determination of the president and other than for Fuano, we'll be able to do this for the last five years. And our gross secondary education ratio has gone up. Now we are looking at how we can improve significantly our gross tertiary enrollment ratio. Ghana wants to leave frog inequality, enhance its fortunes, transform its economy through education. And that is why these investments are being made by the government. And the commitment is clear. Our budget allocation is going to be 23% or higher for the next three years. And we're going to continue to look for different ways to ensure that we can build infrastructure and provide all other revenue sources that is needed for our education system to be robust and to have the quality that will then lead to socioeconomic transformation. Thank you so much, UNESCO, for such a wonderful opportunity.